Hello, hello. I am starting off the vlog today in baby's sweet baby's nursery. I am 23 weeks pregnant today. I can't even believe how fast like this second trimester is flying by. Um, April, the month of April included, like we're almost in the month of May. What? Anyways, it's been a few days since I've vlogged. I tried vlogging the last couple days, but honestly, like it just hasn't worked out. Like there's nothing really that I was doing or talking about. And um, the reason that I'm all done up today is because I filmed a sit down video. It actually feels really good though to have my hair done and my makeup done, have a cute little outfit on. Um, I've been really digging crop tops this pregnancy, especially during my second trimester. I think it's just super cute. And I'm just lounging around the house. So it's like, why not? Um, Although, there is something I want to talk about. I was watching one of Sarah Owen's vlogs. If you guys don't know who that is, she's another military wife. <laughs> I don't know why. I just brain farted. Another military wife. She is also expecting. And I was watching one of her vlogs where she was talking about this. And I was like, um, I totally spaced like having baby detergent. Um, so as soon as I saw that, I called my mom and I was like, hey mom, <laughs> I was like, did you like actually use this stuff? Like, was it necessary? And she said she used to use that stuff too. And that was like back in the day, 22 years ago, almost 23. Um, and yeah, so Steven and I picked this up the other day at the BX. It, it, it is, it is expensive. It, it, I can imagine it getting pretty pricey, um, especially with like a newborn always like pooping and they're onesies and just always making a mess. If you guys have used that special detergent before, let me know in the comments below how it worked for you and your baby or if you use regular detergent. I just I just didn't even think about it until I saw it, um, until I saw her mention it. And um, I mean, there's really no reason that we shouldn't or couldn't buy it. While I have you guys in the nursery, I do wanna do a little bump date um let me know if you guys like these bump dates i do them personally for myself also so i can look back on these i just think they're a lot of fun to look at um and yeah so little bump date let me set you guys down okay this is 23 weeks from the front and 23 weeks for me and then i'm trying to be totally relaxed here We've really been struggling with our registry um, because of everything going on with COVID-19. We've really been struggling with a lot of big items in our registry. I've had a couple family members already message me and tell me that like things are no longer, specific things are no longer um, being stocked anymore, like our baby's um, high chair and then there was um, a bassinet um, and what else? And then this one like rocking, really cute rocking chair that was Steven and I really, really wanted. And I'm just like, ugh. I'm trying really hard not to get frustrated, but just like overall, like in general, things have just been a lot harder, a little more difficult to do because we're overseas. Um, like we found this really perfect travel, um, bassinet from Target only to find out that Target only ships specific things. Um, and I just, I asked you guys on Instagram about that because some people said that they shipped and other people said that they didn't. And I was like, okay, do they ship to APO or not? And so like we have that struggle of just being overseas and, um, we almost gave up on our Mockingbird um, stroller because I, I want to say it's a smaller company, um, so they don't ship APO. I don't think they ship internationally. Um, we almost gave up on that and tried looking for something else, but it was something. It was a stroller that we really, really wanted and had already decided upon. So we actually had to have that shipped to my mother-in-law's house. And now she's shipping it here and I'm just like, I'm ready for all of this to be over. And at the same time, I'm just ready to go home. I know that sounds so like kind of ungrateful, but there's just so many things where, I don't know, I didn't even mean for this vlog to be to turn this way, but 
I've been trying to be really positive with you know this pregnancy but it just some things really suck because I won't be able to see my family this whole pregnancy which I thought I was like we had our trip planned for next month for the baby shower and obviously now that's not happening because the military travel ban um they extended it to I want to say June 30th I think um but regardless we had canceled the tickets like way before then because you know we just don't want to risk anything especially because i'm pregnant and there just really isn't a lot of information about pregnant women like getting it or how it affects them or the baby so yeah i've been trying really hard the last couple days to just keep my head up and uh just not let this bring me down um <laughs> hi <laughs> um yeah it's it's been tough but i think part of me wants to share it too because i know i'm not the only one going through this struggle um a lot of things have had to get canceled because of this pandemic that we're going through right now and just know that you're not alone so we actually just now um trying to book a new maternity session because that is something that i still really want to do and we still have a few weeks and we'd only be interacting with one other person and it's just something that I, it's like I, I like that's something that i don't i don't want to give up um so i just started emailing this girl that um, one of my friends actually told me about here in germany she's really really good um, i'm hoping we can make something work she is like three and a half hours out from us though so yeah um, i really want to do like a sunset vibe so yeah i already have my dress for the shoot um it was actually supposed to be my baby shower dress but i'm just gonna use it for um our maternity shoot so i'm emailing her seeing if we can uh, set something up and yeah that'll be the one thing that i'm really looking forward to within the next i think it'll be like around june that i have that shoot but yeah you guys that's the update anyways i'm gonna eat some lunch real quick and then check up with you guys in a little bit okay it's like 15 minutes later but I decided I'm gonna have myself a nice drumstick. <gasps> we only have two left. Which one do I want, vanilla or chocolate? Your girl's gonna do chocolate. Hello. morning so far um just trying to edit this video get it up as soon as possible because it's been a while since i last uploaded also staying hydrated um yeah so yesterday actually last night when steven woke up i tried to do this like method that i read on the internet like try to, to try to get baby to kick more because every time i feel baby like i'm obviously the patient one because i can't move away from baby so i'll just sit there with my hand on my stomach and i so i feel baby all the time and every time i try to get steven to feel baby <laughs> like it it the baby just stops kicking and i'm like why is our child afraid of you so i tried to drink like an um a tall glass of iced water because i heard that helps and then you just lay on your side but baby wasn't having it literally as soon as i did that i think he or she knew what i was doing and was like no no i'm gonna come out i'm gonna i'm gonna kick when i want to so yeah that was what happened last night um so i'm gonna try again 
later and see how that goes but um if it does happen i'll pick that up in the next vlog uh thank you guys for watching this one i love you guys like always and i will see you on my next video bye guys